Maybe you only want what you can't have. Never seem to be satisfied till it all goes bad. Maybe I should just give someone else a chance. Why should I sit alone and be sad while you fumble the best you ever had? It's not fair to me or my heart. I was forced to start over when we fell apart. Could have had it all, but you pushed me right into his arms. You wanted to break. Hi guys, so today I'm going to revisit a pitch which I did a year ago coming down from bailing from doing the store, the old manor store <laughs> I bailed it because the gusts got to 70 by 8pm I'd been pitched for an hour and I just came back down again <laughs> Sun, I think it was near the longest day of the year so I had time and I came down and I got down for 9 9.15 I drove like 8 minutes along the road and I came to the Brothers Point which I saw on the map, which I had no idea what it was or that there was dinosaur footprints there so last time I didn't know there was dinosaur footprints so this time I'm going to go and see the dinosaur footprints <laughs> um, but basically going back to this pitch it's a like 0.8 mile walk to the pitch you can literally see it from here so it's just that little hill there that little hill and it's on top of the cliff but anyway um, so it's along this path which now appears to be gated which never used to be gated for some very odd reason uh, so yeah catch you in a bit so I got I got through the gate uh, yeah <laughs> it's just right along this road and then it's just up there as you can see it looks over to Gearloch and Torridon Fisher Field you can kind of see Ascent way in the distance you can probably see some hills that are quite well known uh, which I might try and point out later so Let's get going. Hey guys, so I've just come up, come from up there, and the sea is behind me, and you can see Kilt Rock. Well, Kilt Waterfall's just round the corner, pretty much. Uh, it's about like three miles that way. So there's one steep pool left, tiny one. Nothing of what I'm used to. Tiny. Achilles is enjoying it. Actually, Achilles is okay so far. So. Woo. Little pool. I can feel the midge. Quite a long stretch once you get up. <laughs> that is really long. Pathless. How oh, the Achilles is hurting, I'll tell you that. Just take you a little walk further along the cliff face. Eh? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, guys.
found a little sneaky path that uh, actually goes down the cliff face, believe it or not, guys. <laughs> so we're about to try and see how far down I can get. Oh. Okay, that lasted long. Eh, uh, I think it didn't. Uh, my Achilles hurts and I've got a loose phone in my pocket and I've got a GoPro in one hand. So, <laughs> if those things weren't the case, I, <laughs> I would have gone down. Now, probably, I think it takes you down to the beach actually. It's a path, it's a footpath. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Can you see it? I think it traverses along the cliff edge. Which is quite cool, I might check that out in the morning. Woo hoo hoo! These cliffs are higher guys! Woo! Look down there. guys it's um, 4.35 or something like that. Uh, <laughs> been quite lucky this morning actually it was meant to originally be clear at this time at Gearlock which looks like it's I believe under the rain and cloud. Um, wow the sun's rising behind me right now it looks like I'm gonna we're gonna see almost it's starting to anyway maybe see a sunrise underneath all that cloud that's dug up over there so a little bit of an interesting one um, and the moon is up behind me behind the tent that's the tent there and the moon is up there and it looks to be it seems to be fog forming above store i mean it's still clear up store right now but the other hills around it seem to have fog on top of them so yeah gonna get some brews on
Got an omelet, cook teas. Breakfast time! Breakfast time! Yay! And I've got tea and an omelette from m and and that's it. That's it for breakfast. And, uh, yeah. Hello! So I'm still eating my omelette. <laughs> it's a cold omelette. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've pitched here. This is my second time pitching here, but my third time here. And I've uh, come back because this is why it's one of my favorite sunrise pitch spots not only is it just less than a mile from a car and nobody knows about it um, it's not on top of a mountain which is quite rare for me and it actually hits in the top three spots for sunrises for me because it looks over um, Kilt Rock and the waterfall Kilt Waterfall Stornway over towards that kind of direction and you can see Stornoway as well um, it has the Brothers Point which I didn't know about when I came here that's not why I came here apparently it's like that's a really attractive spot to go to but no one comes up above it so there you go <laughs> and then all into the distance I'll put my sunglasses on um, Asin which is forecast to be the best this morning has actually been the worst it's been under rain all morning I've been looking at it and so has the the whole the west coast next to sky has been all right um it's starting to clog up a little bit in the coolings now um stores in the shade and all the hills behind us in the shade but uh, i think we're gonna stay in the sun for maybe another 20 minutes and then it's gonna go all shady and we'll probably start to pack up um so i'm just gonna enjoy this now for the next however long we've got left of the sun and then yeah back to the car ciao when i flew out past that island low battery i was like i was just like i'm i'm only just i'm only just getting started i had like 25 counts which it counts down and my ddi2 ears for some reason one of the best footage quality you get on it but <laughs> The battery's shite. I mean, it can only get like about, I don't know, 15 minutes of footage off it and it's a 35 minute battery. But I'm, that's why I have to be very precise in how I use it to get the footage. And I only have two batteries because like 80 quid each. And I went out there and it was like, right, I haven't even managed to get round it yet. As you saw, because I saw the waves hitting and everything and going down below it here and then swooping up. I did that all with 20 counts and it was flashing low battery. And at one point, because at the end of it, I kind of had to edit because it froze. I thought it literally was going to drop. So <laughs> I really chanced it there to get that footage. So that was quite funny. But yeah, honestly, some of like the most amazing sea footage I've ever... I don't get much kind of sea stuff. Because I'm always on the top of a hill droning. And it was amazing. So I enjoyed that. Mind you, last night I slept at 12. And um, I woke up at half four. And I'm shattered. And I've been up all morning since five half four <coughs> pardon me um breakfast droning vlogging 
so I'm actually going to have an hour an hour sleep and then pack up and go because I'm really tired still <laughs> um, but I enjoyed my tea the sun's lovely it's clouding up a little bit I meant to cloud in at like 11 12 so I think it's like nine o'clock now no about 8 8 15 I would say still here. <laughs> uh, I didn't really nap much to be honest. <laughs> I was on my phone the whole time posting stuff on Instagram. It was terrible wasn't it? Look at that fantastic timing. Just literally put the bag away and the sun's gone and it's not coming back out because it's clouded over. So perfect timing. Onwards and upwards. Walking along. The only thing about this pitch is that it's <laughs> It's kind of along a lot of high grass and bog to get to it. Well, not much of it. Go into that little hill right there. Can you see that yet? But yeah, Woo! lots of tripping up. Careful on the feet, careful where you step. Nearly went into a bog yesterday. So that's it. I was up there and back to the car. Thanks for watching.